In this video, I will be showing you how to enable private meeting URLs in Zoom. What this is going to do is allow you to force all Zoom meeting URLs to be private to the site with all meetings taking place in the browser. In order to get this feature, you will need to be using BuddyBoss Platform Pro with the Zoom features enabled, and then you'll need to update to the latest version of BuddyBoss Platform Pro. First, I'll explain the reason that we've added this feature. So if we go into our Zoom integration and look at an upcoming meeting and click on meeting details, we can see that the meeting link is the link provided by Zoom. And if I click that link, it's going to ask me to open up the Zoom app. Same thing in a group, we can see an upcoming meeting and the meeting link and the one in the invitation as well is going to open up the Zoom app. This works as expected, it's the default behavior from Zoom. However, we know that a lot of customers want to protect their content to only users who are logged in. And when users are participating in a Zoom meeting within a group, they want to protect the content to only the members of that group. So this can create a problem because their users could theoretically take this link or take the invitation and share it. And people who are not members of the site or who are not part of that group would have access to a meeting link that they're not supposed to be in and could potentially drop into that meeting. So this feature is added for security to make it harder for that to happen. So let's go ahead and check this option and save. Now we can go ahead and go to the front end. I'm going to refresh this meeting. And now you can see when I click on meeting details that this URL is coming from our website. And I'm going to go to the group meeting as well and refresh the group. When I look at this meeting link, again, we can see that this meeting URL is no longer a Zoom meeting. It's a link within the group. So if I click this link, it's taking me to join the meeting within the browser. So let's go ahead and copy this link and I'm going to go incognito. And you can see it works incognito because this is a public page. So there's really no privacy set to it. If I go into the back end here and go to body boss settings, and set the site to private network. Now this meeting should be inaccessible to a logged out user because the whole site is private. So let me go ahead and copy it again and go incognito. And so we can see that the meeting link is protected and I can't actually participate in the meeting until I log into the site. And then for a group, these links are inheriting the privacy of the group. So if your group is public, then the links will be public as well. Although if you've enabled private network on the site, that will override that, of course. And then if the group is private or hidden, it will inherit those settings as well. So you would need to be logged into the website and also be a member of that private or hidden group in order to access the URL. I just wanna show you one more thing. I've disabled the option. So now meetings can be accessible through the Zoom app as well. And then I've also changed this meeting so that it's going on right now so that I can demo these buttons. I can start the meeting in Zoom. That's going to open up the Zoom app and I can start the meeting in the browser. These are the options your users are used to seeing. If I go in here and check this option again and save. And then I come back here and refresh you'll see that I now only have one option, which is start meeting in browser. So as you can see, if you're trying to protect your meetings so that only logged in members or only members of groups can access those meeting URLs, this option should make that really easy for you and should help protect the content within your network.